Hey, this is Dr. Tapia. So, we discussed the transmission and infection rate with COVID. Let's talk about how do you protect yourselves. Well, there are basically three main methods that we use to mitigate the transmission of COVID. Um, that is eyewear, mask, and distancing, and sa oh, sorry, four, four things. Eyewear, mask, distancing, and sanitizing. Let's talk about eyewear. Since I mentioned that it is aerosolized and it lingers in the air, that particle lingers there and you walk through it with your eyes open, that particulate can get in your eye. And that's why you have to wear eyewear that's pushed up against your face. If you're working a COVID unit, they will you should be provided a face shield that you have to wear at all time to protect yourselves. That's the importance of eyewear because it can get in your eyes. The most important thing that we use is the sh mask. Since it is aerosolized, the mask is what prevents us from inhaling the, par the particles. So there are four different kinds of masks that are available. The N95, the KN95, the cloth mask, and the surgical mask. I'm not going to discuss gaiters because uh, I think gaiters are useless, but I know at this point in time, anyone wearing anything is a plus. In this video, the fact that I'm trying to protect you by educating you, I'm not going to use something that I don't feel is much use at this point in time. Let's talk about the, what we have. The N95 is what you use if you work a COVID unit. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. If, there is a, if you're in a COVID unit and you're one of my friends and they hand you something else, ask for this. The N95 is the only thing that's acceptable in a COVID unit. If you're walking out in the community, the KN95 is what I wear at all times and it is what's most useful because if not everyone is wearing a mask, this is the only mask that protects you to an adequate level. COVID particles are so small, it can filter through this normal mask. Yes, this does give you protection. Any mask is better than none. However, if you want to stay safe, this is the safest mask to wear out there. The surgical mask and the cloth mask do provide protection, especially if everyone around you is wearing a mask. But if not everyone's wearing a mask, then these two are better. If you have the option and you can get both, then do so. Because studies have shown that that provides a better protection. You wear the surgical mask first and you put the cloth mask over it. The reason they say that is because the surgical mask provides a better filtration rate and the cloth mask provides closer contact to your face. Thus, it pulls the surgical mask and provides you a better closure around your face. The next thing is basically social distancing. I covered this last year. Stay six feet away from each other and the best estimate is that is if you hold your arms out across like this, take your arm and double that. No one should be within your distance. Twice your arm length that way and twice your arm length that way. And, that's, uh, and last, hand washing, sanitizing. Do it. It is known to be the best way to prevent infection. There you have it. Protect yourselves and your loved ones.